Welcome to Electron Line, and our next problem deals with dimensions. So these are, uh, here we have the case where we have 256 feet of fencing, and we're supposed to enclose an area in such a way that we have three equal sections. We can only use 256, 256 feet of fencing, and the total area of the plot that we're encircling with the fence has to have an area of 2,040 square feet. What should be the size of each section in order to accomplish that? All right, how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, we want to be able to set um, equal to the total length of fencing, the total amount of dimensions here that we're using for that. Notice that if this is the width of the plot and this is the length of the plot, we have the length up here, we have the length down here, and we have four widths. One, two, three, four, and two lengths. And when we add all that up together, it should add up to 256, which means two times the length plus four times the width equals 256. But notice in this case, there is two unknowns. L and W, the length and the width, they're both unknown. And so we cannot solve this equation because there's two unknowns. We have to have another uh, equation that relates length to width. And we have another equation because they tell us that the total area is 2,040 square feet, which means that the length times the width should be equal to 2,040. So the length times the width equals 2,040. That allows us to solve for one of the variables in terms of L or W, in terms of the other variable, and now substitute that into this equation right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we can do is we can say that the length is equal to 2,040 divided by the width and substitute that in for the length right there. Okay, if we do that, we get the following equation. So 2 times 2,040 divided by the width plus 4 times the width is equal to 256. Now we have to solve this equation for W. So what we want to do, first let's get rid of the parentheses. So this can be written as 4,080 divided by W plus 4 times W is equal to 256. The next thing we can do is multiply both sides of the equation by W to get rid of the fraction here. So multiply this times W and multiply this times W. All right, if we do that, we get 4,080 plus 4W squared equals 256w, and then if we move everything over to one side of the equation, we have 4w squared minus 256w plus 4080 equals zero. And it looks like every term here is divisible by four, so let's simplify it so we can write the w squared minus, four goes into 256, let's see here, four goes into 200, that would be 25, that would be 50, that would be 60, that would be 64. So 64W plus that would be 1020 equals zero. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and solve that. Uh, it looks like we probably want to use the quadratic formula here because eh, we could try to factor, but quadratic formula is easier, so let's do that. So W is equal to minus B, which is 64, plus or minus the square root of 64 squared minus four times A, which is one, times C, which is 1,020, and the whole thing divided by 2A, which is 2. All right, simplifying that a little bit. So this is equal to 64 plus or minus the square root of, oh, let's use a calculator. All right, so we have 64 squared minus 4 times 1,020, which is minus 4,080, equals, ha, ah, that's the square root of 16 all divided by two, which is equal to 64 plus or minus four divided by two, which is equal to 68 divided by two, or 60 divided by two, which means it's equal to 34 or 30. Okay, so let's go back and see what we solved for. We solved for W, the width. And so it's telling us that we have two options. We can make the width 34, or we can make the width 30. Well, let's see here. If the width is 30, then the length is 2,040 divided by W. So let's try that. So in the case that the width is equal to 30, from that we can say that the length is equal to 2,040 divided by 30, and that would be uh, 2,040 divided by 30, that would be 68. Or if the width is equal to 34, that means that the length is equal to 2,040 divided by 34, 
Let's see what we get there. 2040 divided by 34, that's 60. All right, let's see if both of those answers are plausible. We know that the area has to be 2040. So in the first case, the area would be the length times the width, which would be 68 times 30. And let's see what we get there. 68 times 30, and we get 2040. So that works. How about the second answer? Area equals length times width, which is equal to, uh, that would be uh, 60 times 34. Let's try that. So 60 times 34 equals, and 2040. They both check. So we have the option here. We can either have it 68 feet long and 30 feet wide, or 60 feet long and 34 feet wide. So at any rate, if we take the first option, then width would be 30, and this would be 68 divided by 3. So 68 divided by 3, it's ooh, 22 and 2 thirds, 22 and 2 thirds. Or we could have 34, and that would be 60 divided by 3, which would be 20. So we have an option to have a 20 by 34 or a 22 and a third uh, by 30, whichever way you like. So in this particular case, there are two possible answers. That's how we do that problem.